anyways, I got my pack loaded up here and I'm heading down to the river right behind my house. We're gonna do a little one night trip, try to test out some of my gear. As those of you who've been following my channel know, I had minor shoulder surgery and so I've been cooped up in the house for a few weeks and I am just itching to get out. I've made a bunch of new gear and uh, I've got a few other new items I want to try out like uh, the knife that Labuke gave me and today I bought a new Husqvarna multi-purpose forest axe and I'm really anxious to get that uh, try that out a little bit. So I've also brought along my fishing pole. River, we got some snow two, three weeks ago. Quite a bit of it for our area and then it melted pretty fast and it's been raining. So the river is really, really over full so I'm not really sure if I really get much fishing in. Again, like I said, this is more about uh, playing with my gear but I thought I'd bring the pole anyways. Well, that section was a little bit sketchy. That snow was packed pretty hard with a little film of uh, water on top of it. Almost uh, felt like I was gonna eat it there a couple times, but anyhow. So I'm just getting down to the river now. Also on this uh, trip my neighbor Chris has come down with me. He's not going to camp out overnight but he's going to try doing a little fishing too and uh, he's got a trip planned to Alaska to hunt moose in September. So he's uh, just conditioning himself for carrying a heavy pack so he wanted to just come down for a walk with me. So, so anyways this is where I'm going to call home for tonight. I've got two trees here that I'm going to hang my hammock on. So we'll start getting that set up. I'm doing here guys is I'm making a big long stake where I've got the hammock at that's all sand underneath so the little stakes that I usually carry with me aren't going very far in and I don't think they'll hold it if any breeze comes up so I'm going to put a big old stake in the back down there that's going to go pretty deep down into that sand to hopefully hold everything in place I have to say this new knife that I got from from Labuke is working beautifully I really like the weight and I mean it just it really makes quick work of, of these small jobs like this. So I want to get my tarp at a pretty ste steep angle from this side. The river is over here so most of my breeze is going to come from this side. So if I can stick my tap at a pretty steep angle, I can keep some of that wind off of me. Okay, so now I'm all set up. For those of you that are kind of new to my channel, what I'm using here is, this is a Hennessy Ultralight um, Rainfly, and then I'm using the Warbonnet Blackbird Hammock. The underquilt here is one that I made, and I'm gonna try it out, and it, inside there, I've got an old sleeping bag that I converted also while I was out with my shoulder injury to a upper quilt. So that's gonna be the system tonight, and I'm gonna try it. It's supposed to get down to like 24 tonight, which is gonna be well colder than I really think I'm set up for. So I'm also gonna be wearing my, my wool sweater and uh, some good wool socks and, you know, and try to get bundled up in there. Hopefully I can make it through okay. I
So what I've done here, guys, is I just dug out a little area in the side of this hill. This is where I'm going to put my fire for tonight. So I'm going to start gathering sticks. So you see behind me, I've got a down juniper here. It's been here for quite a while. It's good and dry. So I'm going to use my axe, cut me up some firewood. This grass here is really dry, so it should work really good as a as a fire skip tire starts in there. So I'm gonna pull, grab a bunch of this. Well guys, that was disappointing. I had a little camera snafu there. Thought I had the record button on. Went through the whole process of starting the fire with the fire still in the dried grass. And uh, realized that the camera wasn't on. I didn't, I didn't hit record on the camera. That's a little disappointing. I was quite proud of myself. It did take a few strikes to get it going. Um, but uh, I did get it going. Anyhow, the next step here is going to be... Uh, now that we've got this thing going, we're going to get my MSR stove out and start thinking about getting some dinner going. So before we get dinner going, before the light gets down, I was going to show you guys another piece of gear I made while I was laid up. You know, many of you have been watching my channel, you know that I wear a vest that has a bunch of pockets on it. And I consider that kind of my survival vest. I carry my main survival items, my bare essentials basically that I would need to survive. It never was quite exactly what I wanted, so I made something new. I made this vest here has four pockets that I have different gear in which I'll go over some other time but what I did is I put a actual waist belt that um, can unclip or clip in and you can put items on it like I can carry my pistol which is nice because I never had a way really to carry my pistol in my old setup now another thing is it allows me to carry the knife that Larry sent me and uh, like I said we got four pockets and on the inside I do have another pocket that, it, that I put in there specifically for my hunting tags and another pocket that I use to keep a little notepad and a pencil. Uh, I like to take notes when I'm out in the woods. Plus on the back there's a, uh, you'll see there's a tag you know where you can hang that up. I set that up specifically so if I want to go for just a quick little hunt away from camp my quiver will snap onto that and then down on my belt so that I can just grab my longbow and head out for a, a quick hunt without actually having to put on any gear. So anyways guys, you know, I, I, instead of using the MSR stove, I could cook everything on the fire, but what I'm trying to do with this trip is I really just want to get all my gear out and give it a go, make sure that everything's working the way it should. I'm not that far from home, so if, there, if something really horribly went wrong, I could uh, get back home really easy lot nicer than getting way out somewhere and then finding out your gear is not working the way you thought. Plus, you know, the MSR stove just has a lot of conveniences to me or any other small stove like, like the MSR stove is, especially when I'm hunting, I like the fact that I can get, get up, fire this thing up, get a cup of coffee and some breakfast going really quick and then turn it off and I don't have to worry about trying to get some coals built and then get the, my food cooked then have to worry about trying to get the fire put out before I go and hunt. So guys, <clears throat> while I'm waiting for my MSR stove to prime up, I went out and grabbed um, two cups of water. One's going to be for my 
to rehydrate my food and the other one's gonna be for a cup of coffee. I'm gonna cook up, I bought another one of those Libby's, sorry, upside down, but I bought another one of those Libby's seasoned beef from Walmart. According to the package on this, it is six ounces and it is good until December 17th, 2014. So this is a great packable solution and they're really pretty good. And the package is microwavable, not that I have a microwave out here. But what I'm gonna put with that is I vacuum sealed up some freeze dried vegetables that I get from Walmart also. I get those big canisters of freeze dried foods and they have one that's just basically straight vegetables, which works great for me because I'm on the paleo diet so I can't eat or I don't eat a lot of um, whole grain food. So anything like the mountain houses that have a lot of pasta or rice or a lot of that other stuff in it, not really my cup of tea, so. So anyways guys, I'm just kind of kicking back a little bit. It's starting to get dark. Fire's going good and I got my water boiling. So hopefully I'll be having some dinner here soon. Got a little trail mix. I think I'm gonna dig into that here pretty quick. I have to say, this is really great. I'm really looking forward to sleeping in my hammock tonight. I haven't slept in my hammock since October. And I swear, I, I think I sleep better in this than I do my sleep number bed at home. Now, having a fire with the hammock is, you know, you gotta be real careful. You know, you got all this nylon. And you can see there's a few, I don't know if you can see, but there's a few sparks going around here. So I've got my fire a little bit away and I'm trying to keep it pretty small. Plus, if you notice, I, I took and put my fly and put it back towards the back. Since it's totally blue skies, I'm not really worried about it raining. Just try to keep uh, as much of this away from the fire as possible. A lot of times when I'm using the hammock, I like to use a Dakota fire pit. It works really well with the hammock setup because you can have a nice small fire and not have to worry too much about uh, sparks or something like that getting on your hammock. You still want to be careful, but it works pretty well with it. So I'll tell you guys, I don't think the ducks are too happy that I'm down here. I keep hearing ducks and geese flying through here, and I think they see my fire and keep on flying, but I think this is their nighttime spot. I don't think they're real happy that I'm here. This trail mix is really hitting the spot right now. I can't wait for my water to start boiling. Oh, look, I think it started boiling right now. So guys, <clears throat> sitting here enjoying my dinner. This stuff is really good. I really enjoy this. It's probably the best thing that I've come up with tried a lot of different things and some of it's not very good. Still got the MSR stove going. I got a little, my uh, GSI cup going on there with a little water getting it hot and I'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee after this is all done. My friend left, he left a while back ago, long before it got dark. He thought he might try to return at some point, but we'll, we'll see. He, he really wanted to stay down here with me, but got other obligations, you know how it is. Anyways guys, this is what it's all about right here. I mean, does it get any better? And it's a pretty nice night. There is a few clouds, so I definitely, before I call it a, call it a night, I will kind of get my fire kicked down and I'll get my tarp over the top of me just in case it does rain. But I tell you what, this is pretty nice, pretty comfortable. Got me a cup of coffee here. The only thing that would make it better is if the river wasn't so blown out so that uh, could you actually get and do some fishing. It should hopefully start to get better here pretty quick, you know, next week or two. And we're kind of getting into the time of year where I usually do pretty good, start doing pretty good fishing. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get down here and get some good fishing videos for you guys. But anyways, for the most part, I think I'm just going to kick you here for the rest of the evening and uh, enjoy my fire and uh, just kind of relax, maybe read a little bit more, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning. So I'll tell you guys, just laying here in my hammock, with the fire crackling away there, and you can hear the river just kind of flowing in the background. And it's pretty stinking relaxing, I have to tell you. Kind of makes you think that everything is just perfect in the world, even though maybe it's not. I mean, right now it feels pretty dang close. Okay guys, it's about a uh, little bit before midnight. I had to get up. I was just absolutely freezing to death. The underquilt is working, but it's just getting too cold. 
So I'm going to see if MSR can recover this night for me. So I'm using my stove to heat some water up. I'm going to get it to good and boiling. And then I'm going to use my dromedary bag. And I'm going to fill my dromedary bag full of hot water and put it between my underquill and me and see if, uh, see if we can get uh, comfortably through this night. I'll let you know how it worked in the morning. Oh, good morning, guys. We made it through the night. Uh, the MSR, the MSR dromedary bag kept me warm for about a good hour. Got smoke in my eyes here. But anyways, the MSR dromedary bag kept me warm for about an hour or so. It was real nice, but eventually it cooled down and and uh, I got cold again. I kind of muscled through it until about four o'clock this morning when I got up and finally decided to build up a fire again. And then, then I just kind of faded in and out between half and the put board on the fire. Got my MSR stove going again here and getting me some coffee. Really looking forward to that. I feel like my underquilt really did help a lot. I mean, it's just it was way colder than I really had it designed it for. Got some other ideas of some things I might want to try to to help keep me warmer on colder nights when I want to use the hammock. Tell you what, I don't think I've ever had coffee taste so good. I'm sure it's not the best coffee in the world, but right now, I'm telling you, it's fantastic. My battery's just about shot. I'm going to let this fire kind of burn down. It's starting to get pretty light. I'm going to start packing up my camp and head on home. I think my wife has got plans to make a decent breakfast this morning, so I think that sounds a lot better than powdered eggs. Considering the fact I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, I think there's a big fat nap in my future. But anyways, until the next video, I'll talk to you guys again.